300 million people depend on the Nile River to survive, and in Egypt, 95% of the population lives along the river. Last month, Ethiopia began filling a reservoir upstream from Egypt. The reservoir is part of a nearly $5 billion dam project Ethiopia says will provide electricity to 65 million people and help lift the country out of poverty. But Egypt sees the possibility of lower water levels as a threat to its very existence. Egypt hosts more than 100,000 refugees from sub-Saharan Africa, and many of them say they are subject to open hostility on the streets because of the dispute over the dam. We escaped the Ethiopian government and their injustice to come here. But here we are tormented because we are Ethiopian. Huru says there has been a rise of hate speech, harassment and violence against Ethiopians, or people perceived to be Ethiopian, raising fear among the refugees. With increased racism, even simple things are more difficult, say refugee advocates. For example, one young Sudanese man tried to get on a microbus, and the driver said to him, you're Ethiopian and you want to block our water. Blacks are not allowed on this microbus. Online, Egyptians and Ethiopians taunt each other. Ethiopian TikTok users suggest Egypt will be completely cut off from the Nile. Egyptian users retort with posts about Egypt's considerable military prowess. And locals say the online bickering is fueling growing tensions on the ground. The videos provoke people to anger. They show people claiming they can stop our country from getting water, as is our right. Critics of Egypt say the country has long used its power to bully its neighbors and control the Nile. Critics of Ethiopia say, without a legally binding agreement regulating the use of the dam, the country could devastate its downstream neighbors and violate international law. Egypt, Ethiopia and Sudan are still in talks trying to negotiate a deal, as the reservoir is slowly being filled up. But sub-Saharan refugees in Egypt say the anger on the ground is misdirected against them. They say, if Egyptians go thirsty, we will go thirsty too. Heather Murdoch, VOA News in Istanbul, with Hamada al-Rassam in Cairo.